Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. I am Rene from CSK Germany. In this film, I would like to show you the difference between a DSD code and a ZSK TC or transport code. Um, as you can imagine, there is a lot of different, maybe you know that um, the ZSK code does have a lot of information already inside the design and the DSD code is in this case a little bit poor, but I would like to show you live what is the difference. In this case, I do have here a flash drive. The flash drive does have a folder with DST files as well, another folder with the CSK files. I will plug it in now on any on the USB plugs behind on the T8 control. And um, I would like to load now a design. And we start now, for instance, with a transport or actually a CSK code design. I will take here the button. Um, to load a design here on the bottom we do have the USB drives I select it and I see already my folders on the USB flash drive on the bottom I do have a folder there are my designs inside and if I select the folder I can see already in the text directory a lot of information like the design number the whole design name as well as how many stitches the design has how big it is and even when it was done so you see, this is already in our code included. Also, when I go to the pictogram, I can see already my little pictures. These are the different designs. And on the bottom, I have, again, my information for each design. Now I will choose one. Let's go for this one and I will select it. Um, here comes the optimization. We just say we want to have the default optimization and then I will see my design already. The advantage of this code is you see already the original colors as it came from the digitizing software. Also underneath you see the used needles. It doesn't matter how often they are used in the design. This is definitely just the used needles. The assignment of the needles will be done automatically in the code. Well, I accept it now and we do have the design on our display and I would like to show you then the design information. My design is on the display and now I would like to show you the design header or the design information. This is here the second button we go in and again we see the overview of our design as well as the needle as I explained before. If I use now here the next page, I got more information. I can see the smallest stitch in the design, the longest stitch is in use, as well as if it is done, who did the design, when it was done, and even I got some yeah, information. All this is basically done on the digitizing software and will be saved in the code. If we go one page further on, we have also the information of each thread, as you can see. Here are my needles. In this design does have 11 colors. And I can see, oh, it's basically done from Madeira, Polyneon. I can see even the color number. So I'm always able to use the right color. Even the design has to be done, let's say, a month later again. All this information will be saved, as I said, in the T8 unit control. And now I would like to show you the same design as a DST file. I will go again to the button load design. Use now here the USB key. And we are back in our flash drive. And you see here my folders again. I will go now to the folder DST and select the folders. So now we see the designs inside. Also, the uh, DST files, they have a name, as you can see. Also, the amount of stitches or how many stitches you have. And here you will see also it is a Tajima code, basically. If I select now a design, and in this case, I will take the same as I said. It's 46.dst. Um, I'm not able to confirm it right now. If I do so, I will show you what will happen. Optimize with default values and what happened in this case is I got actually only one color design right no needle information at all because this code does have only stop function inside so instead of a needle change you have stops and instead of a trimming or yeah cutting of a thread you have jump stitches and this you have to set in the DST codes 
even if I accept it, and I want to show you now here also the design information, we go into the design header or information, go to the next page, you will see there is no further information at all. Also, there are no needles or color information or thread information, nothing like that. All right. To make it as we need it for a DSD code, I will show you this. Basically, we go to load design once again. We use the USB button and we select now again the same design. This is the folder. Open the folder. Use again the design. And in our case, I have to say now, optimize with user-defined value. So, if I go here inside, I see now all the stops. Each stop should be a color change. So if I don't have a printout, for instance, um, it is very difficult to say which part, which color it is. Basically, we have here a button called the design part. And here I can say, OK, this is the first color. Most probably it will be green. I will check now on my machine where is my green color. And on the bottom, there are the needles. And I can set it. So basically, I will say now start needle is number one. This is OK for me. Then I got here another part. This should be needle number two and number three, etc., etc. So you see, you have to go through all these parts. And as bigger the design is, as more complicated it can be. And you have maybe also a big chance to make a mistake. Once a mistake is done, you can imagine, um, yeah, well, the design is destroyed. Never mind. Um, this is actually the Different between a ZSK code and a DSD code. I hope I can, I could show you some different it and um, you like our code basically. Thank you very much. Indeed. Bye bye.